KOR to Sports here with Showtime Sean Porter uh, after the 12 round exhibition against uh, Tyner. Uh, tell us about uh, about it. How do you feel after uh, after that 12 round uh, scrap there? I'm, I feel good, man. I'm glad this one is over. I'm glad that we were able to do this, and uh, I think it was a good show. Uh, I had fun uh, in here tonight. Um, I had a guy pushing me. You guys saw it. And um, from here, we're just gonna you know take a little bit of time off and get right back to it and get ready for that 12 round for a belt. Yeah, definitely. Um, was the idea behind this uh, exhibition was just, I mean, you've been in camp for ever, <laughs> like six, seven months. Was the idea to kind of like get some kind of like fight, fight atmosphere, kind of get like something to where you can take a break and kind of restart camp? Was that, that kind of? Uh, that was kind of the focus behind this uh, entirely was to put me into a fight. Um, obviously, you know, we wore headgear, to, you know, you know the ins and outs of it, but we wanted to get as close to a fight as we could. Uh, and uh, I really do feel like we were able to uh, do that tonight. Uh, I stayed focused for 12 rounds, and uh, I did what my dad asked me to do. Uh, we treated it like a fight. He, he even asked me to sit down after the first round. I didn't know if we were going to stand up like a sparring session. He's like, no, we're treating this like a fight. So, I, honestly, top to bottom, I think the only thing that we didn't do as far as a fight was, like, I didn't really, like, Press it, press it, because you know there's heavier, heavier gloves and, and headgear, you know. Uh, so that you know, how much can you really, you know, push a guy to, to really stop and, and and knocking him out? So I mean, there, there were times you saw me bang, you saw me do what I had to do, but uh, I think if, if there was any more I could have did, I would have did it. Right, of course. <laughs> I think we did it all tonight. Uh, he's a guy uh, who's been in the ring with Jesse Vargas, uh, Canelo, like everybody, never been stopped. He was kind of talking to you about kind of trying, you know, be yeah, the first one to stop me, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, was that yeah. kind of in your mind? I mean, I know you had the bigger gloves, the headgear, but were you kind of like, in an exhibition, I want to stop this guy where other guys couldn't stop him in an actual fight? You know what? It wasn't in my mind. I, I mean, I obviously visualized what I would do to stop him, and that, in my mind, focused a lot around the body. But, I mean, he's a veteran. He was able to block a lot of my body shots and, and all that good stuff, man. He was, he, he, provided very good work for 12 rounds tonight and um yeah i would have to say it was definitely in my mind but it wasn't the first thing in my mind gotta stop him gotta stop him gotta stop him but you know i was looking for those opportunities he was trying to hand them to me but he wasn't handing them right, to me yeah, he, was, yeah. he was trying to bait me in you know but he knew what to expect tonight he knew to expect some hard work and uh, i expected the same i got exactly what i got from him tonight uh, moving on to June 25th, obviously your uh, matchup with Keith Thurman. Um, you know, we're more than likely Keith Thurman was watching tonight. Um, is there any message you'd like to say to him? Maybe like that you didn't show in the fight, but you're kind of like, hey, that wasn't me. Mm -hmm. uh, be ready for me, the, the me that you know. Yeah. Nope. No message at all. Uh, you know I'm ready, and you know how I work. You know how we work, and uh, I'm 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 aware of how you work as well. So June 25th, let's make that one official. When you do fight him on the 25th, do you feel like you're at maybe somewhat of an advantage now that you have got a fight? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I have to be at advantage, um, not not just for tonight, but the work that I've put in uh, allows me to take a week or two off and still, you know, try to maintain and, re and remain where I'm at. So I'm ahead of schedule. This is this was a blessing, um, you know, whether he 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 needed more time or whatever, uh, more time for him is more time for us. So it's a blessing. Your dad said that he wants you to get out of here for a week and go yeah. go somewhere. Where are you going to go? Uh, man, I got no clue, man. I'll probably <laughs> be in my bed. You know? <laughs> uh, just tell us real quickly, this is like a, like you have like the hyperbaric chamber over here. Like awesome. your, your dad, yeah. The t well, this is like it's a awesome. gym from the future. Tell us a little bit about this place. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, we got, a, uh, I think, a 26-foot ring in here. Uh, we have the hypoxic uh, chamber over there. Uh, we hung a bag in there, so now we can actually, uh, we run in there. We bike in there. We hit the bag in there now. We uh, we uh, hit mitts in there. Um, a lot of what we do, I think maybe two or three times a week, is focused around that hypoxic uh, machine, uh, hypoxic chamber, which uh, uh, really works for us. Helps us get in shape. And uh, this is great. You see the monitors up here. We can play our sparrings. My dad is very visual. He'll stop a session, um, pause it. Why your feet like that? I'm like, well, you going in slow motion. Of course, my feet like that. He like, well, they shouldn't be there. I'm like, well, back up off me. You know, he like, get it right. I'm like, all right. You know, so uh, we we have fun in here, and uh, this is an absolute blessing. The Porter High Performance Center. Well, hey, thank you so much for having us over. Really, really appreciate it, sir. Thank you for the time, and uh, best of luck January 25th. Thanks again, sir.